Have you recovered? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Palm Sunday, of course. It's the day we remember Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem. The waving palm branches and cheering crowds have dominated our imagination of this event, even though we all know that in less than a week, he would be hanging from a cross. There are a myriad of interpretations offered to try to help us to understand Jesus' motivation for going to Jerusalem, knowing full well how dangerous it could be. But today, the focus is on the qualities in Jesus' character that allowed him to be calmly present throughout the last week of his life. We begin with selected verses from Psalm 118, which captures the power of the God presence within both to both sustain and embolden us in times of challenge. It's easy to imagine these words in the heart and mind of Jesus as he made his way through the city gate into Jerusalem. Reading from Psalm 118 and paraphrased by Nan Merrill, and by the way, you are invited to please join the choir in the song response. We give thanks to you, O beloved, for you are kind. Your steadfast love endures forever. When all my fears surrounded me, I acknowledged your presence within me. When they surrounded me on every side, I gave thanks for your companioning presence. <clears throat> stood beside me in the darkness. You have walked with me into the light. I shall not give in to fear, but I shall live in peace. You opened the door leading to new life. justice that I might enter through them. This is the door to life. Those who know love shall enter through it. We give thanks to you, O blessed one, for you are kind. Your steadfast love endures forever. for the expanded story that was just shared with the children. Perhaps you will experience the tension building as the story unfolds. Reading from Luke 19, verses 28 to 40. After speaking to the crowd, Jesus went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. When he had come near Bethany, at a place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it, and bring it here. 
And if anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as they had been told. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked of them, why are you untying the colt? And they said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus, Jesus, and after throwing their cloaks onto the colt, they sat Jesus upon it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. And as he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of God. Peace has come. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. And he answered, I tell you, if they were silent, the stones would shout out. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks, Thanks, Rich.